question 293. What is your most common recurring dream? Oh. I have I have one immediately. Go on. I had a I've I had this occurring dream continually as a child and it was a drowning a drowning of my entire family. Mm. Aww. Oh. Uh, uh, and it was terrifying. Did it stop? But that's what it was. Did it stop? I mean, it did stop. I haven't had it in many years. The worst thing is, is you're every... probably going to have it in the next few days. <laughs> well, I hope not, because it was very distressing to me, even when I had it when I was a young child, and probably will even be to this day. Mm. But it was just the whole circumstances of the dream that were was depicted in my in my head. Did you discuss it with that, your family? No, I've never I've never actually spoken to any of my family members about this dream. I'm intrigued so, as to whether or not there was an underlying trigger when you were very young. I can't understand where this dream came from or why it manifested itself, but it did. So. Mm. Uh, I have to live with it as it is. So uh, that's it. But what it was, was my family would, I, I'm. It, we were all kids. Mm -hmm. I have three siblings. So it was us three kids playing around in the house, jumping around and being kids. And my mother and father were like, stop it, stop it. You know, being really like stern toward us and telling us to stop jumping around and having so much fun and and then they would like if you don't stop jumping around and having so much fun we're going to run outside and drown ourselves and i'm like uh oh and the next thing i know i i'm, I'm standing on this the back stoop of my porch and there's a, like this river and the whole family is just like walking into a river of water and just they just keep going and i'm standing there and going stop and yelling stop stop and they just don't stop they just keep walking into the water and they just go gone and i'm like standing there amidst of a a, 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 a torrential like rainfall and all this other watery stuff and i'm like oh and that's the dream tony asks he wonders if sam's dream informed him of his choice to live in a desert you live in a desert yeah yes. yeah that's why i live in arizona now yeah <laughs> i want to go back to you as a kid and hug you <laughs> now that's, well that's terrible to tell you the truth i had a wonderful childhood oh good <laughs> Thank you. I had a, a picture perfect childhood. I can't think of anything terrible that has ever happened to me as a child. And if it did, I'm not even aware of it. You know what I mean? It's that 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 good. Apparently bad dreams like, apparently bad dreams are symptoms of 5G poisoning. Oh, <laughs> must be. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should should we burn those towers down? Uh, no! Season, no, no let's <laughs> not <laughs> But it's like so amazing that someone that you would think that had such a happy childhood would have such a horrendous dream of his mm. entire family killing themselves. I mean, not to go it's all like... psychoanalytic on you, but it is it makes sense actually. You had a lovely family, a lovely childhood, and you were terrified of losing that. And, you that makes sense. and the worst thing is, is, it probably is a tiny trigger. It may just have been a, a, something you saw on TV, and your brain then I, fitted so much around you know, it. I never thought of it that way, and I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I, mean, I have I weird things about certain films, and I know that it's just a snapshot, and it's it embedded deeply in my brain that I try and solve problems. I then fit people into those problems. <laughs> It's it's kind of odd. Right, right, right. Uh, Tony says, bizarrely, until Katrina, I lost it. I dreamed often my whole life about tornadoes. After laying on the roof and watching over a dozen tornadoes fly by, I never had that dream again. Oh. 
guess I cured it. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Exposure therapy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff. I used to have like a recurring nightmare about like falling off of something, you know, like um, like a building or you know, mm. like a height, thing, a kind of height thing. Mm. Um, I think I might have cured that just because I think it might have just been linked to a fear of height. It's in general that I think I've cured, but see, I don't know. I definitely um, not cured my fear of heights, it... and I st- I, st- I stopped having that dream. As I've got older. Yeah, I, well, I stopped having it a while ago, but um, but like I don't know, like zip wire in a form of fear, for example, that might help get me over my height issue. Hmm. Hmm. But, but I don't know how well I'm coming through at the moment because I keep having internet issues. So. No, no, we heard you. That's a wicked. So, <laughs> Jed. I don't usually remember my dreams. You but, don't have any um... as a kid. Probably the dreams I remember the most are the lucid ones, like dreaming that I've woken up and I've started the day already, <laughs> only to wake up again later and go, fuck, I've got to do that all over again. <laughs> I, I, I want to really ask you a question I really want to do what I have to do and I've got to do it again. <laughs> yeah. At least you know how to do it. I Jeff. want to know recurring dreams. Is, why don't the, Yeah, so the question I want to know recurring dreams, I don't know the answer is, why do the wet ones never come become recurring? <laughs> what do the ones you want, you know? <laughs> I have had dreams like that that always cut out just before they get interesting. Or a goddamn wake up, yeah, right when it's like, oh, fuck, that was getting interesting, yeah. Badger. Uh, right, I used to, uh, uh, from time to dream, dream, from time to time, dream that uh, all my hair and teeth had fallen out. Interesting. I've definitely had teeth ones. I've definitely had teeth ones. Like, I, well, I've had I've had the one where I've been like eating something and then suddenly all my teeth are like grinding and coming out. I've had that one mm. a few times. <laughs> uh, oh, they're... the ones that I remember lately seem to all feature my roleplay characters or just family from st- like way in the past doing odd things. Mm. But the the ones that the, there don't seem to be that many repeating themes in them that I can pick up on. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Kitty says I have recurring nightmares about fleeing from a tidal wave. Mm. Uh, Sammy says my dream was running upstairs with my mother in a skyscraper as the bottom levels collapsed under us, and my legs would feel like lead and I couldn't run. Interesting one. Wow. Nine eleven. I'm gonna say. All of my worst dreams seem to involve my work for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate those. Uh, yeah, I, I have, oh, okay, okay. I have to I ask, g- given your job, uh, have you considered buying some sort of semi-automatic weapon? <laughs> mm. no, oh, I have thought of. I have thought of like no. actually. Uh, <laughs> I might as well say what my job is here on the stream this day, though. Um, Yes, I'm a coastal worker. Um, I, you know, I have given serious thought to it at times. I think Sam is with me on this. That's a serious red flag where we are. <laughs> what, do you, what did you say? He's going to go postal while, while he's working? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get guns, so the best he's going to be able to do is hit someone over the head with his fist. It'll, it, it, it will happen... Well, actually, I used to have a, sh- I used to have a shotgun license. It's probably best that I don't now. <laughs> See, I, I, um, uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Hang on, the dream that was, oh, that was it. I had a recurring uh, nightmare in the first couple of weeks from when I started working in retail. It was a fucking disaster. So uh, I just had a recurring nightmare that I had a customer that wouldn't fucking go away. I was <laughs> scanning stuff over the side of my bed. <laughs> that, that's. I bet a lot of people do have that dream. Right. Yeah, a true, a true nightmare. Yes, Julie. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, this isn't pleasant, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But um, for several years, I was married to my first husband for uh, 13 and a half years, and we were together for three years before we got married. Because mm-hmm. I'm from the South and we all get married way the fuck too young. Anyway, um, but um, so for several years, even after Junk Shop and I were married, uh, I would have this recurring nightmare 
where um, I would find myself trapped in the old house where I lived with my ex and I would be hunting for junk shop and I couldn't find him and I would turn my ex and say where where is where is he and he would laugh and say that never happened hmm. meaning I'd never left meaning I'd never hmm. yeah it was horrible so wow. so you didn't feel trapped at all in that relationship no no not <laughs> trapped at all no. no it was perfectly functional and not at all emotionally <laughs> abusive and gut wrenching mm, that's not yeah. good Amen. Amen. Yay. <laughs> right. You know, you know what? You know what? Truly, you've given me some insight to my my own dream that I never thought about before. So thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. Not a psychologist. Uh, pur- not not a psychologist. Purple says, when I was in my 20s, I had a recurring dream that at the time I took to be a memory from a past life as a British soldier in World War II. I, yeah, I did the same thing. The problem is, it's Back also, it's one of those films that, wow, it, it's, I, again, I, I, it's funny, because of my memory problems, I get snapshots that I can associate, uh, people's memory normally evolves over time, right, because I've got big gaps. I have I to know, ask, go on. I have to ask Julian, is, when you have that thing, is it like... Just like a general thing, or is it based on like any films you might have seen, the or whatever? I think it came from. I I got obsessed with World War II because I read Di- the Diary of a Young Girl when I was fourteen. Mm. So I'm reading okay. Anne Frank's diary that she wrote when she was fourteen and in hiding from the Nazis, and I got way obsessed. So then I read Upon the Head of the Goat. Then I read The Hiding Place. Then I, I mean I went through. Uh, then I read Night. Then I read Day. I, I, I went through every piece of like mm. Holocaust uh, or Shoah literature that I could find. Mm. And then I got really obsessed with the war in general. And I used to have, yeah, so I, I had a lot of dreams where I was involved in that war in one capacity yeah. or another. And I used to think it was a past life thing because mm. I I've, thought that was a thing. I, now I just know what, it because I was obsessed. Do you know what? I had one once where I was... Uh, dreaming I was involved in the Great Escape, and then I woke up halfway through it, and it just so happened I had the TV on, and guess which movie happened? Ah, uh, yes. TV. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure, and I'm sure that some of the I was, injury and I stuff was, I was like from. halfway through Steve McQueen's motorcycle jump, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm gonna make it," and you know, <laughs> a big co- oh, yeah. a coincidence. And that, yeah. It's funny what our brains do. Yeah, but the reoccurring dream thing. I've always been fascinated by reoccurring dreams because I've only had one. And that's the funny thing about it. No, you only remember one. Right. (laughs) That's right. Yes. (laughs) It's one of those things. it's, It's everybody dreams or virtually everybody dreams. But most of my dreams, I know I don't remember. Everybody shits as well. Yep. But you people usually remember those. Oh, One way or another. A friend of mine who's had his uh, his, his uh, bum surgically removed. Right. Okay. So is there another question? It, it, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question for uh, uh, <laughs> Badger. <laughs> is, is there any one shit that you really remember distinctly? Oh, <laughs> there, there, just it just so happens you, that there is actually. That's, um, a, false, that's a false oh, equivalent. I, you it can't. so happens actually that there is one that I remember right there we go next question thank you <laughs> <laughs> alright <laughs> right. I love you better <laughs>